welcome into this edition of Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month. This time we're bringing you two months worth of action from December and January. And let's get it rolling with some men's basketball. Early in the first half against Lycoming, Tim McNeil finds Cameron Hayes for the alley-oop dunk. Yeah, what a pass this is because he makes it look so easy and it really isn't that easy. It's not and both those guys are having a tremendous season. Talk some women's basketball versus Lycoming later that afternoon. Sarah Downing just downing threes all over the court all game long. Number four had four three-pointers to go along with a perfect four for four from the charity stripe there. Hey, if you're open, take the shot, take the opportunity, and she definitely took the, made the best out of the opportunities given to her. Uh, another player with the best taking advantage of her opportunities is Britt Rose. Coming up big on a breakaway against Lebanon Valley. Stonewalls that Lebanon Valley player. Leaves the, the rebound in a perfect position. And the defense can clear it away. Back on offense. And back to basketball we go. Sarah Tarver doing Sarah Tarver-like things. Gets a missed shot on the rebound. Time ticking down in the third quarter. Nothing but net, too. I mean, yeah. she's, she's gone away from the basket. One foot. Makes it look easy. NBA jam style play. Just hit X. See what happens. Yeah, she, she finds the net. She hits X a lot, Joe, and it always goes in. Hey, another player that finds the net a lot, Chelsea Blackburn. Look at her. With the poke check, now she gives herself a breakaway chance. This again against Lebanon Valley, and there's the breakaway goal. She uh, would have three goals in that game, just another hat trick. Yeah, she had a hat trick like a week prior to that, too. She has five in her career. I mean, she's, she's unreal. We'll keep it with ice hockey, men's ice hockey. Tyler Sasarchek, look at this awareness. Finds Mike Davis, who came for it off or change. Gets behind the defense and the overtime winner with 15.5 seconds left for a 5-4 win over Fredonia. Seven overtime games, Joe, for men's ice hockey this year. Yeah, they're no newcomer to overtime games, but um, getting it done in this one and uh, getting it done in a lot of games this season. One uh, to talk about is against Brockport, they get the program's first shutout in program history. Uh, record book is wide open, and they're checking off things. Yeah, and it was a one nothing shutout. I mean, men's ice hockey, especially this year, watching Stevenson, there's a lot of goals that are being scored. And a one nothing. I mean, that's pretty yeah. rare. Exciting games, um, for sure. That, that was definitely no different, that one nothing decision against Brockport. Uh, the Mustangs are currently in six, and uh, the final spot in the ECAC West uh, hockey playoffs. So it uh, be pretty astounding to to have your first career or your first season and make the playoffs and uh, go be back another in action check. this weekend. Be another check for them and someone else who's just checking off everything through the record book, Kelsey Blackburn. She's just burning that record book to pieces there. She had seven points in a single game. It was a consolation game at the Codfish Bowl. Five goals in that game, four alone in the third period. And 50 on 50 goals on in her career. She's at one point had three goals in a span of 631. It's just yes. uh, incredible numbers coming from her, great productivity, and she gets the uh, other players involved as well. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a team effort. There's, it's a good junior class that they have with, mm -hmm. with Chelsea Blackburn, so uh, I'm excited to see what they do at the end of this year and then uh, you know, moving into next year. And talking about, you know, team efforts, these are team sports. In the fall, we had 129 fall athletes uh, get a, a GPA of 3.2 or higher in the fall semester, placing them on the MAC academic honor roll. Uh, you know, academics is something we take very seriously at Stevenson, and these guys and girls, uh, men and women, you know, hit the nail on the head, and they they did a great job in playing some tough sports. Student athletes versus Stevenson, uh, they learn and they and they play well. Uh, yeah. You know, fostering <laughs> learning, achieving excellence, and uh, they do that both in the classroom and and on the field and the court. Absolutely, always a student of the game and student of those books. Um, another player doing that is Sarah Tarver. Yeah. 49 points, so we'll go back to December because she's done so much in January, but back in December, 49 points in a single game, and that was at Widener on the road. They needed all 49 points. It was a close game. Uh, 
and more recently she became the all-time leading scorer in Steams in history and so she's only been here three years yeah, yeah. and she's averaging a double double this season like you don't just average a double double you you might get one or might get you know two or five in a season she's averaging one she's had 24 straight double doubles dating back yeah. to last season She's, she's doing more than just averaging. She has a double-double in every yeah. single game this season. Yeah. So, um, I mean, and she's earned Player of the Week seven times this year, so yeah. I, I'm not going to be surprised if she if she collects Player of the Year honors. Oh, I, I would not be surprised as either. And, uh, you know, I'm putting her name in the hat as already. You know, she, she deserves to win it. If she doesn't, somebody had to have done something incredible if she doesn't win it. Um, you know, moving on to, you know, teams and players that have done incredible work this season uh track and field have ncaa top 10 rankings that just don't come very easy uh in the 200 meter Devonte williams is uh, i think fourth or third in the third in uh division three danica uh danica ani she she holds a spot in shot put and adam biavagati in the long jump uh, just top 10 rankings is uh, tough to get. Yeah, the 4 by 200 relay, I believe that you told me that it was the first meet of the season that mm -hmm. they set uh, a mark that currently sits fourth in, in all divisions. So that's also with Division 1 and Division 2. It sits fourth, and at one point they had to held that top spot. Yeah, that, I mean, that just that, that's something to be very proud of. And, you know, one person that we're very proud of is Eric Kamadeka, the head coach of the indoor and outdoor track teams and field track and field teams uh you know growing this roster to what it is being competitive as competitive as they are and top 10 rankings is is something to be very proud of and doing it a short amount of period of time I mean, he's only in his fourth fifth season uh, he came in the middle of the year there mm -hmm. but uh, i mean even from last year to this year so i'm excited to see what kind of noise that that these two teams are going to make at the MAC championships and at the ncaa meet yeah i think uh, i'm very excited and uh wish them the best of luck and you know congratulations to all of our fall athletes and then all of our winter sport athletes who are all making uh huge strides as we move towards this playoff season Oh, go ahead, wrap, wrap us up, Joe. We'll wrap her up. Uh, that's December and January. Plays of the month. Be on the lookout for February. Uh, check us out on Roku. Stevenson has its very own Roku channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Go Mustang Sports. Snapchat. Snapchat, too. We're, we're fans of it all. We are. We're, we're covering all our bases there. And check us out on GoMustangSports.com. Till next time. Dang, no shit.